Dr. Kalzian, could you tell us about the Swedish approach to selecting patients for respiratory ECMO? In Sweden, we try to select the patients according to the ELSA criteria. And we have the fortunate situation of having a small ICU dedicated to do only ECMO treatment. And the majority of our patients are respiratory patients, and we do between 80 and 90 per patients per year, neonates, pediatrics, and adults, approximately one third of each. When it comes to the criteria of starting ECMO treatment to a very, very sick patients, in the neonates, we go with oxygenation index of over 40. In the adults and pediatrics, we try to see how hypoxic they are or if they are in circulatory failure. But what we overall look for is to see if we buy the time for the patient to heal, starting ECMO treatment, will the patient heal its basic condition and will it have a good life afterwards? And if we can find good approved to that, we will pick out that patient to start ECMO treatment. And our first approach is to try venovenous ECMO, which means we will take out the blood through a big neck cannula with its tip in the, the right atrium and pump the oxygenated blood back in a big cannula in the groin vein, vena femoralis of the patient. In patients up to 12 kilo, we will use a uh, neck approach and many of those patients need um, vena arterial ECMO, so we use the carotid artery on the right side and the internal jugular vein on the right side. If they don't need vena arterial ECMO, we go with a double lumen catheter, very much resembling a dialysis catheter on the right side and suction and give back oxygenated blood in the right atrium. Um, Dr. Kazian, could you tell, you tell us about your results, please? Our results are according to age groups very much. And if we look on the neonates, we have 90-95% survival. In the pediatric group, which is from 6 months to 16 years, 18 according to ELSO, but in Sweden 16 years, we have 80% survival. And in the adults, where usually no one older than 60-65 years of age, it's between 60 and 70 percent survival rate. We also made a long-term follow-up on a cohort of 10 years of ECMO production between 95 and 2005. It's over 200 patients and 77 percent of them, one-third of each age group, survived to decannulation and some patients died the first 10 days that had conditions that couldn't be cured. But if you were alive day 10 post cannulation in this material, 86% of those patients were alive five years after. And none of the deaths that we recorded there had anything related to the ECMO treatment. And no deaths in this group were anywhere between one year and five year of follow-up. So we're very pleased with those results at present.